Okay, just checking levels here. One, two, good. Hi. Look where we are. It is gorgeous. Look at this. I uh, had plans to take you to this amazing garden up at Doddington Hall, but it is hedge trimmer day. So there's that. So I'm trying to get out of the out of the range of the hedge trimmer sound and take you out here to oh, fields of green. Look at that. Look at that. And uh, roads are not too far. I'm trying to stay away from the cars and just have a moment with you. Um, I don't know if anybody's going to come. Let's go check. I'll be all up in there, girl. Oh, we're good. I think we're all right. We're all right. I was going to talk to you about, well, kind of like what happened today is my plans were thwarted. Thwarted, I tell you, <laughs> by something going differently than I had planned. So I had this beautiful garden setting and then thousands, literally, of hedge trimmers. It sounded like just a big old beehive going off. But there's two two things you can do when things go south. And if it's something small like that, or if it's something huge, like, I mean, massive, life-changing, or even death, that you have two choices. You can change how you react to it and choose to go, it is what it is. There's hedge tremors back there, but we're out here. Look at that. That's even more beautiful. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. It's all good. It's about uh, accepting everything that comes up to that particular moment. For example, somebody explained it to me like this, like, uh, what if I wished, uh, I don't know, these posts here, I wish they were painted red. And every time I walked by those posts, I was pissed off because they're not red. They're never gonna be red. Well, they might be red, but they're not red today. So today they are plain and that's okay. So every day, if I wish that they were red, then I was causing all this drama. I'm bringing that on myself. So it's not only the fact that they're not red. That's the, the first point. Or that there's hedge trimmers. That's the first point. The other point is everything that leads up to that point. Like leaving the house, choosing to come here for a walk. What is my role in it? What part did I play in it? Like some people bitch about their, their baby's other parent. Well, who mated with that person? Hmm? Who chose to mate? I'm not talking in extreme cases of <sighs> extreme cases of raping children. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in today's Western world as we see it from where we are right now. So what is your part in it? I chose to come up here. It's hedge trimmer day and that's okay because I, I figured out a different way, a different place to go. And I went with the flow rather than against it rather than standing down there. And, and I've, I've seen this happen. People, God dang it. Why are you, oh, I just breathed in my hair. Why are you doing that? I want it to be different. I want it to be different than the way that it is. That's the main cause of suffering is, is in, uh, in some of the, the programs that I study throughout the years, they always talk about acceptance is the key to happiness. Acceptance is the answer. Acceptance is the key. Well, acceptance of not only the issue, but all things that led up to that issue and of your role in those things. And if you can, what can you change? Your location. I don't hear any hedge trimmers. Do you? It's a beautiful day. It's all about your perception. So I thought I'd do a little, little bit on acceptance. Radical acceptance. Not only of what is, no red posts, but everything that led up to me coming to want those red posts and can I accept them as plain posts and why did I choose to walk on this certain path? Can I change my path? Yes. Can I change my reaction? Yes. Can I change the posts as they are? No. I love you very much. Thank you for letting me share today.